Hi everybody, uh, I'm Nick Mink. I'm the Chief Salmon Steward of Sitka Salmon Shares and uh, I have a secret recipe. Today I'm making seared albacore with chimichurri rojo, which is actually my recipe. Forgive us, it's really pretty blustery here in Southeast Alaska today. Um, fall time, very uh, cold. The simplest way to do this is you just kind of mix everything together. So I have a couple tablespoons of garlic, a couple tablespoons of shallot, few tablespoons of tomatoes. We have our parsley and then a little lemon zest, shakes of salt, cracked black pepper, a couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a couple glugs of olive oil. If you guys were doing this at home, I would put this in a food processor or a blender. And this stuff is awesome on everything. So you can put it really on any of our fish. This is wonderful line caught albacore tuna. I just really like to sear this very, very quickly, about 30 seconds on each side. Obviously salt and pepper on this too, really liberally. And uh, rock and hot pan. That was hot. Uh, wipe my hands, grass, wipe my hands in the grass. We kind of pulled a fast one on you in the first segment. I was pretending like we were in Sitka. <gasps> Actually, we're at Ulbrich Gardens, Ulbrich Park, uh, just behind our new facility at the Garver Feed Mill. This is a brand new investment that we've made for our Wisconsin and Minnesota members where we're going to be distributing our fish for our company. So we're really excited. So it's been about 30 seconds and generally how the albacore works, the loin is kind of like a triangle. So I like to think about cooking this in a three-sided manner. So 30 seconds on each side. I got a nice sear on that, JD. Respect the sear. And this was about a minute and 30 seconds. Mandy, get in there. This is Mandy. No, no we're not gonna show her. What I actually like to do so that it's an, a little bit easier to cut is uh, let it rest for uh, five, maybe 10 minutes. What you need to have is a consistent temperature throughout. But we're gonna go ahead and slice this. And then uh, I like to just kind of dump the chimichurri over the top. Mm. That is so good. We've enjoyed doing these boat deck cooking classes with you this season, and uh, we'd love to have you guys all back to enjoy amazing recipes like these. This is no doubt super good. Mmm.